to learn our second session of molecular docking. So in this session, we are going to learn how to use autodoc vena to dock a single compound against the single protein. So last time we have used that is not autodoc vena. In the last session, we whatever we covered. That is actually autodoc tools 4.2. If you remember, in this case, all the things you have to do manually. Let us say you have to do the docking using manually. You have to set the grid and then you have to run the auto grid. You have to set the do docking parameter files. And then you have to run the autodoc vena. Then you have to further, if you want to dock, dock second compound, then prepare a PDBQT first. Then you will have to prepare, you will have to choose the ligand, will have to bring that ligand into the workspace of autodoc. So that way, that this autodoc tools 4.2, Basically, that is totally kind of manual docking. Although it may be based on, let, let us say, genetic algorithm. Algorithm is much shorter. It is not big or not out of tools. So, now we are going to learn further today what out of Vena. So, my objective is I want to teach you people in this documentary, how can we dock a single compound against the single protein using autodoc vena. And once I shall teach you this, I shall further move to how can we dock more than one compounds using autodoc vena. And especially that is highly useful for performing virtual screening. And we can screen lakhs of molecules using this autodoc. Okay. So, what shall be our first preference? That moment we open the autodoc, our first target should be that we should move to preferences, then set. The preferences we should set the specific folder startup directory. So on my desktop, there is a folder called doc. I'm using that doc folder for the purpose of setting this library. So my start, startup directory is already set and I have make it as default to so set as well as default. Then I am clicking on Dismiss. The moment I click on dismiss, that is done. So this is the first task we should do. Because during Autodoc, there will be a lot of files we will require. And a lot of files will be generated. So that's why it is more important that we keep only those files or in a specific folder. These files, whatever files we require, so those has to be kept in a specific. So now we are moving to further. So objective is to teach you people how to use, how to do the molecular talking. So I'm teaching you all this in a soft way so that you can learn. What is my doc folder contain? So basically my doc folder that contains this one NH8 is the one of the protein in which we want to perform molecular docking. There is another protein which I have prepared previously. I'm not going to show how to prepare a protein because that I have already covered in my last class last session, all these steps basically involve removal of the ligand, addition of the hydrogen, removal of water molecules, 
addition of charges and saving the file in the form of everything. So this is I have done. Then this is also important. It is called configuration. This configuration file which is used in Autodoc. And what is that? That is nothing but simply a not paid file containing the name of the receptor you want to dock. The ligand file. What is your ligand and which you want to perform molecular docking? So that is here a simple ligand I have taken or I wish to take that is EMP dot or simply I can take any other molecule because I am taking here in this case all some ligand let us say AMP let us say no issue with that EMP dot then centers are there these are the dimensions which I have previously determined in doing several combinations and permutations to perform molecular dot. Size XY with respect to XYZ so that we can bring our grid box into the center of the ligand. So these are the major things that we can do. Another is Vena application. So this is basically Autodoc Vena. If you search on Google, download Autodoc Vena, then you will get some link which is suitable to your 32 or 42 bit system and then you can download that so and install it the moment you install it you under the in your c drive there is a particular folder let us say program 86 file i do have this one in my c drive so in which here there shall be a specific folder and that folder is the scripts research institute. So in this folder, moment you open a bot out, there is a, another subfolder called Vina. And Vina moment you open it. So here there is an application file of 764 KB. Vina.ext. Exe. So that you can copy and can paste in a, your folder where you want to perform. Okay. So I do not have, right now, I am not having this AMP ligand. So I am I need that AMP ligand to perform my molecular docking. So without that, this docking is not possible. So here uh, is AMP ligand. It's also that. So previously, I have deleted. Now I have, now I have re restored from the session. How can I uh, get the ligand? Uh, this is even if I, uh, this is also possible to open the protein into AMP and extract the ligand and prepare the PDVTT. Or else if you have not seen, then I can show it to you uh, how to do. So open the PyMol. Okay. So PyMol, I have click, open it and control plus E click on this window so you will get enough space to work after this go to uh, you can open your protein which you have all downloaded click on 1 nh8 so i am interested in selecting my amp so here there is a button called sequence if you click on that you will get the sequence and in this sequence here adenosine monophosphate is there okay so aapko pure protein se is adenosine monophosphate ko separate karna hai se karoge usko select karo then go to action menu click on copy to object copy to new moment you click on that there is another entry is created object 01 sidebar you in your pipe now i will delete all other things action 
for the n one nha time selecting action delete object all these things are deleted even i don't require this as well delete or remove the items so only now i have adenosine monophosphate you can see its name is there go to file export molecule original atom order save and am de do usko amp you will using pymol first you will be able to save in pdb format and save close this one so i have pdb file but you know very well Autodoc does not and or Autodoc generally does not allow this PDB file for molecular docking. It will require PDB Qt file. So how can you get the PDB Qt file? It's much easier. Uh, simply you open the Autodoc. Here it is your Autodoc. Click on File menu, Read Molecule, and then open the AMP. Select it, open. So it's there in your workspace. Then go to Ligand. It's already there. Input, choose. You select the Ligand for Autodoc. Uh, these are the parameters calculated for the same. Torsion tree, detect root. Again, torsion tree. Choose set number of torsions and four. If you want to choose the number of torsions, you can. Chromatic city criteria. Chromatic criteria default. Okay. Ligand output save as PDB. And you can save the file by giving the name amp dot pdbqt. So now it is save as. So that's what we have. We can prepare the file amp dot. So you need all these things. You need your protein without ligand in PDBQT format, and you also need this. Basically, your protein and amp ligand. Both these things you will require. Now. Your docking autodoc vena is much easier. Your I have already set the grid. Uh, in previous session, I have shown that how to set the grid for a particular ligand. Okay, so now I am going to run autodoc vena directly. So we shall go to run. Sorry, docking. Even yeah. So docking will directly run. Run Autodoc Vena. Only three things you require. Number one, your program file path. That is already there in your folder. Click on Vena application. Select it. Configuration file name. That is more important. Your Notepad file because it is involves the total information. What is your ligand? What is your receptor? What are the dimensions? So these are there. Even further, we can also mention what are the exhaustiveness and some other things are we can also highlight. Then simply we will we'll have to click on launch. The moment we launch, this auto doc process is there. It will continue for molecular now. And how you can assume that this process is continue? You can. Assume this one. If you go by this way of here, I mean, say, if you go by, let us say, this autodoc, this one, you maximize this, and see your process is continue. This one, right? So it is showing that four CPUs. Why four CPUs? Because my system is based on total four GB RAM. That's why four CPUs. And up to 50% is it is completed. Remaining will complete in some few minutes. 
So here the advantage is that you don't have to run auto grid. You might have run this, this thing previously. So your one of thing is all bypass. You don't have to further, let us say, run for something auto doc. Here program file run karna hoga. You will be able to dock whatever the compounds. Right? So it is about to complete 100%. And moment it is complete, you can see the docking affinity in kilocalorie per mole is in front of you. For the base pose, it is minus 5.6. And the, for the least pose, it is minus 4.8. And total nine poses have been. And you can see in your doc folder, there is another output file for AMP underscore out. So that is your, this is a dot DLG file. In this case, it is AMP underscore out. So now you have your docking. So you will get the binding energy from this. And if you wish to analyze, then docking. You also you will need the macromolecule. Kindly open that macromolecule into this one. Simply click and drag. So that is your macromolecule. Analyze macromolecule. Choose. So I have I am selecting the macromolecule. Yeah. I have selected. Analyze docking. Oh, open autodoc Vina result. So moment you say this one AMP underscore out. Select it. Open it. So moment you open it then your single it will ask load the models as single molecules with multiple conformations say okay and it will say total nine dog conformations are there and use your arrow keys to view them we are saying so if you see clearly and move uh, go on clicking your this one then you can see here there are certain even a let move this protein so that you can see where is your actual ligand right so i am pressing my uh, arrow keys and you can see the ligands are totally how they are docked total nine pores are there and they are docked into the protein depending upon this energy is given and also uh, they may have calculated some rmsd so some of them are having zero some of them are having nine 19. So you can see here this can 19 and that is totally deviating. Right. So this may be uh, out of the protein. That's why although docking scores the docking score we could not analyze. So this is the output of orthodox vena. Your docking is successful within few minutes. Autodoc tools may may you require time. Here the time is less. Autodoc tools has less accuracy. Autodoc Vena has highest accuracy. Autodoc tools may be that not much precise. Research article, uh, some claims are there in certain articles. Autodoc Vena is more superior than this one. Okay, so that basically I wish to share with you with this and your docking is complete and much easier and why people are not following computational chemistry to learn by sitting at home on their system is really surprising to me fine then this was for autodoc vena where i wish to teach you single compound docking using autodoc vena against single protein so this is only single ligand docking only one protein, one ligand, and talking. Now you can change your other ligand. You can change your drug, aspirin, or any drug. You can change remdesivir. You can talk against particular protein. Here it may be some 1NH8 protein, which is basically ATP phosphoribosyl transferase, HG protein. You can take your own protein to dock your compounds. So that is also possible. Now I'm jumping to my second object. My second objective is to teach you people how to dock more than one compound using water dock. And for this, what we require? 
we require i am showing that into a separate folder called multi so friends in this case this autodoc tools user interface is all also not required and easily dock thousands of compounds without using this user interface but that need to inter uh, if you open your windows and type cmd there is something window will call command prompt so using this command prompt if you have installed autodoc vina you have installed one more software called open babel then dock the compounds convert them dock them and i can show i will show you that within couple of minutes you shall be able to Okay, so here, what do we require for for, for performing this one? I, as you remember, you require protein. So this one is your protein. Number one, number two, you shall require ligand. So there are total ten ligands which I have taken up from different sources. These are the ligands which are available in their SDF format. In fact, if you open it in CamDraw. you will be able to see their structures two d structures this is their stf format so you require protein you require ligand third you require this configuration file which is their containing receptor name ligand name ligand of each ligand because now we have more than one ligand and the dimensions which is you require vena dot exe which you can retrieve from your this folder called the scripts research institute and from there you can get this one for your purpose i will come to this one which is a python script to show its application in the so i have total 10 compounds so before performing docking your protein is ready which you have prepared previously now you need to perform docking for your project task which is uh, given to you this is more important these are the compounds which are obtained from internet and they are not optimized the first thing we have to do we need to optimize them so i am making one folder called optimize i went to this ligands and i have optimize made a folder called optimize i am going to open now this command prompt okay and what i am going to do first i shall change my path to particular folder and for that cd is a command cd ka matlab hota hai change directory small me you can give the space so basically this is path up to hp i should move to desktop so moment i am just writing desk and clicking tab key for using my keyboard so now it is desktop i am putting the backward arrow which is as here as good jaisa wo wahan pe jaisa hai na waisa hi arrow put kar raha hu first my on desktop the folder is called multi so i shall type only m pressing the tab key So multi is covered. Again, this for backward arrow. Multi के अंदर क्या है? तो कि एक ten करके एक folder है. Is it that? Multi के अंदर और क्या-क्या है? तो multi के अंदर only there is folder called ten. You one, then it is ten. And I can view again this backward slash. n ke andar folder there are so many path so i will click on enter so moment i have click on enter so i am entered in my tenth folder if this is basically command language is aap to seedha hi aapko jana hai to desktop pe isko click karoge multi mein jana hai to multi ke baad tenth to pahunch gaye but command pro, command mein command line mein python mein etc etc this thing is there. but it's not difficult it's easy and it becomes more easy when we have 
commands certain i have already documented those commands i shall also paste here below the description of this video as well as will be shared as well okay so i am going to make this command our objective is we want to first of all optimize this thing so i this command i have written the beauty of this command prompt is that you can copy the command and can paste it just by right click moment you uh, press uh, let us say any uh, if you have copied the command from microsoft word and you press the right click your command is pasted before we move uh, let me explain this command this is actually for loop type of command where percent g is some kind how kind of variable that in this folder whatever the sdf file is there do minimize them using uh, do ob minimize ob is for open babel and minimize them output file should be saved in the form of sdf in the optimize folder so it's all the things are mentioned in this command whatever the sdf file the star dot sdf star explains anything which are the dot sdf file extension with dot sdf convert them and optimize them optimize mein kya hota hai ki the bond angles and etc these are uh, energy minimize and we are taking those energy minimum conformation for the purpose of molecular docking so that is a basic objective the moment i press enter you can see these all molecules which were 10 molecules in the soft with my particular folder they are being processed and moment they are ek karke ek karke unka optimization ho raha hai optimization jaise bond length bond angle torsional angle so all these things are taken into consideration for the purpose of optimization right you can see in your optimized folder which you have, which has been created so all this n molecules are there previously there were here only n molecules which are sdf format now they are in optimized as a sdf file and your command is done this command which was there all this have calculations has been performed you can see they are these all calculations have been performed with respect to several iterations and the cycle is so several cycles could convert in one single command that have so our first task is done that is optimization then check second is what we have to do uh, after optimization we need to change the directory so we need to go to the this one jaise aap uh, click karke pahunch jate ho optimize mein here we need to as cd optimize so i am now in optimize folders this one previously i was here by giving cd optimize i changed the directory from 10 to optimize now i am in optimize for these are sdf files and you remember that autodoc does not require sdf file it require dot pdbqt file so i have one beautiful command with the help of which i can convert all those files this one last command one shot thousand file hai to ek karke ek they will be converted into pdbqt so open babel that should be installed in your system minus i indicates input file should be sdf and whatever the sdf file is there in optimized folder convert them into output file should be pdbqt and minus m means multiple tick karke and also you if you require to add guest eager charges then add those charges my single enter which will convert all these molecules in one shot to pdbqt files you can see 10 output files have been generated and here this autodoc structure files indicate they have been converted into pdbqt this is command line is much easier aap ye 10 10 compound ka ek ek karke docking karne jaoge na to 2 3 ghante lag jayega here it is being process only with the help of 
of a few of the those parameters so it's much easier and don't require a lot of time now we will go for molecular docking so docking karne jayenge to in our that opt, optima jahan pe apne ligand hai we should have protein we should have our configuration and this vena folder so that time testing it into optimize in this folder name label as optimize these are my top 10 pdf structures these were optimized sdf files this is vena.exe this is protein and this is configuration and my ligands are ready here so my ligands are ready protein is ready configuration file is ready vena.exe is ready now i can do the docking where is the command command is this one which i have highlighted in yellow color and copying it pasting it into command prompt with the help of right click the whole command is pasted i don't need to type so what is the command let us understand first it is a for loop command percent g is a variable where whatever the compounds are there in uh, this folder having a mole star matlab mole 1 mole 2 mole 3 this star is variable basically it may change dot pdvqt so do there vena.exe that docking using configuration file config.txe so config file is also there in the same folder it must be there otherwise this is not possible and then you need to for your ligand which we have not mentioned in this word this one, here we haven't mentioned the name of the ligand so for that we have we are specifying that you take the ligand from uh, this uh, folder and save them as a uh, log out underscore out or dash dash out and the save them in result folder so i am creating a new folder called result over here a result karke ek naya folder bana diya hai so that whatever the compounds are we are docking that will be stored in result folder so my command is ready and i have pressed the enter you can see the docking has started it is going on it is so this way uh, if you just as a some of the uh, uh, pc some of your systems have more higher ram 8 gb ram or 16 gb gb ram or 2 gb ram in if you have higher ram random access memory your speed of this one will be higher maybe you will have eight cpus here instead of having four and you can see this uh, one by one this docking once the compound or one ek kisi ek compound ka docking complete ho jata hai to turant hi dusra molecule aa jata hai because command is set in a such way for loop command one by one whatever the files in that particular folder so go on taking those pdbqt files and dock them so that way you can perform the docking and not only that aapke jo result folder mein you will get the complex uh, mol1.pdvqt underscore out so that file is your output file jaisa we amp underscore out tha here it is mol1.pdvqt underscore out and you can or you shall be also able to observe or this output file you can save them uh, pre accordingly in your not uh, you can open it in notepad as well right so maybe in auto doc vena auto doc tools it will be there in your this command prompt and you cannot save it you need, may need to copy paste them here it is automatically saved right and you can whenever you want to visualize the binding energy you are free to visualize them this way Uh, your docking is done it, one by one if it they it shall take the molecule and will go on performing that molecular docking and it will remain continue don't have to worry for your but this is much easier just copy the commands paste into the command prompt and give the power continuous power supply to your system don't allow it to slip
this beta i have given only 10 molecules so if you have let us say 1000 molecules so it will go on docking and uh, and you will be able to see this right so it has taken mole 1 1 ke baad usne 10 le liya hai pdbqt format mein and mole 2 may be there you can see the binding energy is minus 5.1 so this is one of the best way uh, to dock the compounds whether it is um, more than or not okay so this way uh, it will take if you have uh, 1000 compounds it but uh, and it will go on docking so I am reducing the number of PDBQT files uh, to only five and deleting other PDBQT files because I further I want to show to you people that how can we proceed for, uh, this, so that this uh, command which we have given can be easily completed and we can learn the further thing. Okay, so what are the results? So here the results will be pile up. You you will be able to see mole one. Mole to a pehle yaha pe mole 10 nahi tha in this folder called result. Or ab aagaya hai mole 10. Okay. So, per baad, baaki saare molecules bhi also will be generated. Although I can, I let, I let me don't delete them. Or if, if they are, there is no issue with that. Now, I further I wish to, uh, so once they are completed for these five or six molecules, I can, um, uh, show them okay, what is this this is mole three may be in process from this command and that is done so moment it is done one more new molecule will be there okay so mole three is there mole four will be also docked one by one so this is the beauty of auto dock that you can dock so many compounds together within by giving a single command this app case folder may mole one se leke mole thousand tak hai. Wa mole one lakh tak hai. Mole nine, ninety thousand bhi hai. So they will be docked and their results will be stored. This way you can, and this is what actually called virtual screening. Virtual screening ka matlab hi wahi hota hai ki aap bahut sare compound mein se aap uh, compound, best active compound aap identify kar rahe. And now, I am going to show you people what are the some other good qualities of this work. So how can we uh, a sheet may how can we get the best active compounds and their best pores? So that is possible with the help of this script called Python script. And for this, you need to install Python. In most of the recent Windows system, it is already installed. So I, uh, this Python script, we can open it in Notepad also. I shall show it to you. How does it look like? So this way, I shall open it into a Notepad. And this is the that schema which I have made uh, under the guidance of this Dr. Jitesh Doshi. So in his guidance, uh, this script is made. So this is a basically thing we do not need to understand because we are not the coding scientist. We are the molecular modeling scientist. So, so for this reason, basically it is a Python script and here it is. So what you need to do, you need to jump to this folder called result and you are in, up there, this is also the mole 19 could not be open water because I have deleted mole 8 and 9 to save the time so that I can show you this Python script. So that's why they are not doc. Okay, they, they have been deleted. Now uh, here I am in, here in optimized folder. So I need to change the directory from optimized to optimized ke baad kya folder hai? result. So I'm just writing RE and then giving a tab key. So a result is automatically catch. Press the enter, you are now in result folder. What you command you should give you write like Python, simple Python, which you have installed here. Press V and tab key. If this is there in your folder, it automatically will fetch this Python script. And you press the enter. Moment you press the enter, what it shall do, this Python script is built in a such a way that it will create a result.tsv. And the beauty of this TSV is that 
in not one notepad file you will get all these top molecules and their binding energies are summarized so looking at this you will directly go to mol3 which is having binding energy minus 6.4 that you can utilize for your purpose it will also create the best molecules where because you know that docking will create top 10 poses so it will isolate the pose which is having highest binding energy so that is isolated here right so this way you can uh, perform the docking so this is the end of your docking now what you can do you if you wish to uh, see the same thing uh, in your if you want to make the complex then let us say uh, which complex is the best complex so here the best complex is mol3 so what i will do i will take mol3 will open my pi mol uh, uh, in pi mol i shall open it and the uh, moment i uh, once it is there i shall show to you people that how to create a complex this molecule i have taken up no i cannot take this one i can take the best pose best mol3 dot pdvqt underscore out i am taking into my pi mol so this is that best pose which has been generated using autodoc vena and i need the protein because uh, without protein this is nothing so whatever the protein without ligand i have uh, with me i am also dropping into the, the scene and now you can see this is dock into protein although it's little outside not the same way it is inside fine and the, you can save this by going to file uh, and export molecule click on this carefully check it is single file save it is and give let us say uh, this is uh, mol3 and it is having best pose so i shall write here uh, mol3 is fine and i can write 1nh8 which is my protein and i am saving it into the form of pdb okay so now uh, if you remove all these things and uh, or you close this one and this uh, result folder may which was there uh, your uh, where is that base uh, i could not come to know that which uh, file is that where i have saved here it is mol3 underscore one nh8 and then uh, you need to open your uh, the previous uh, uh already seeka hai leak plot plus okay so i am going to open the leak plot plus the jar file which is with me so that i can further uh, show you people regarding the use how to generate the 2d pose of the same and uh, you can do that okay, leak plot plus i have not not plus how many save karke rakha hai forget that otherwise within one let's see files This one set of files, set of files, click plus is there. This is jar file. So executable jar file. If you click on that, it is that file. Click on open. You need to browse them, or yeah. So that is more the, uh, there. So I am on desktop now. And then I am going to my doc folder. The doc, sorry, multi folder, multi folder. Then I was in ten. Then I was in optimize. In optimize, uh, there is result. Result no. That is basically mol three underscore one nh eight. I am opening it. It is saying something ligand is there. Yes, I am selecting it using leak plot and run. So this is the way it is run, and I can see what are the interactions. So in with this aspartic acid one fifty four. of this protein is interacting with this and other all uh, residues uh, hydrophobic interactions etc you can see okay so this way you can generate the pose using mol3 1nh8 or uh, your leak plot plus i'm 
i hope that you are able to even not only that you can also export that into your uh, jpeg image which i have shown you previously you can use aapke paas 10000 molecule hai within one shot you can dock the compounds this is the beauty of the present method hope that it shall be uh, useful to you uh, in further